हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर प्रिया पार्कर इन अर्लियर सेशंस आई हैव डिस्कस हाउ डिजास्टर्स आर डिस्ट्रक्टिव इवेंट्स एंड एडवर्सली इम्पैक्ट ह्यूमन बीइंग एंड एनवायरनमेंट वी कैन नॉट प्रिवेंट डिजास्टर्स बट स्टडी ऑफ डिजास्टर्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट हैज मेड पॉसिबल टू रिड्यूस द लॉस फ्रॉम डिजास्टर्स in that continuation today i am discussing the concept of disaster management and four phases in dealing with disasters the semester and examination may have a question on this topic for 15 marks the question might be discuss various phases in dealing with disasters the term disaster management refers to dramatic process of taking measures against reducing the negative impact and consequences of disaster for the safety of life and property thus disaster management is the management of disaster risk and its consequences there are four managements namely response recovery mitigation and preparedness response means efforts to minimize the hazards of disasters recovery includes attempts to bring the community back to the normal life mitigation refers to effects of prospect to disasters preparedness aims at planning to respond disaster in systematic manner out of these four phases the response and recovery phases should take place during and or after disasters while mitigation while mitigation and preparedness phases always occur after the disaster happens response to the disaster is a first phase in disaster management it includes quick and timely response to reduce the losses it includes provision of immediate relief and support to the affected people in this phase the main focus is on sending search and rescue teams medical and paramedical teams satisfying the basic needs of affected population by providing water food clothing relief camps that is temporary shelter and medical help to the injured people in the response phase search and rescue teams find out the trap and lost people in disasters like earthquake or collapse of buildings it saves people trapped under the heaps of debris in fire incidents fire brigade uses long fire service ladder to rescue people trapped in high rise buildings rafts and lifeboats are used to rescue the people from flood water in kedarnath flood tragedy helicopters and flood lights were used for search and rescue operations thus timely response saves human lives affected people are quickly moved to the safer places in response phase quick coordination with us phase quick coordination with different agencies such as hospitals ambulance services blood banks fire brigade police and ngos etc becomes necessary to reduce the losses to feed the affected people who have, who have lost their houses government and ngos runs community kitchen in response phase maintenance of law and order is equally important to control chaos and social unrest The recovery phase starts after the disaster. The recovery phase is to bring the affected community or area back to the normal life as quickly as possible. The main function of recovery phase is the restoration of basic infrastructure, civic facilities and quick rehabilitation of the affected people by rapid ass assessment of damage, efforts for restoration of basic infrastructure like rebuilding electricity towers provision of water supply restoration of telecommunication network repairing of surface transport and provision of sanitation system demolish houses 
are rebuilt and temporary shelters are provided to the affected people similarly temporary school facilities are provided to the disaster affected children and young children are kept engaged by ngos to control outbreak of epidemics health checkup camps nutrition provision supply and vaccinations are also undertaken claims of the compensation are forwarded process and accordingly grants are sanctioned long term medical care and counseling is provided to the, to the needy population to recover the local economy assistance is provided to the small businesses assistance is also provided for recovery of agricultural loans farm inputs are distributed in the disaster affected area disaster mitigation is the third phase which occurs before disaster takes place disaster mitigation is the most important phase the main focus of mitigation activity is implementing long term measures for protect risk of possible disasters in mitigation phase actions are taken in advance to reduce disaster risk by analyzing risk and ensuring against risk before the next disaster safety measures are undertaken in mitigation mitigation to minimize losses and to reduce the cost of rehabilitation and reconstruction two types of mitigation measures are adopted structural and non structural structural measures includes ensuring quality physical constructions city physical constructions such as earthquake resistant houses to avoid medical casualties ensuring fire audit structural audit of schools or residential buildings construction of dams constructing flood levees and ocean wave barriers non non structural measures includes allocating building codes land use planning enforcement of laws research and assessment procedure to reduce disaster impact developing information resource system and public awareness systems structural measures undertaken in disaster mitigation structural changes in the environment helps to reduce loss of lives and property see the first photograph where hill slopes are covered by wire mesh in second photo retaining wall has been constructed wall has been constructed at the bottom of the hill and at some places the hill is cut into terraces to minimize the slope to avoid incidences of landslides in flood prone areas levees are constructed along the river banks levees means natural or artificial walls to regulate the flood water while at some places every year before monsoon flood plains of annually flooding rivers are evacuated to save the loss of lives c flood plain of river is marked by white circle plain is the area around the banks of river which gets drawn during floods dams are constructed to control floods many of you must have seen a line of casuarina trees planted across the sea coast as as windbreaker to control the stormy winds from sea during cyclones as a part of mitigation broken down buildings are evacuated before monsoon to control casualties from building collapse drought resistant or flood resistant crops are introduced or flood prone areas to control crop damage disaster preparedness phase occurs before disaster takes place broadly it includes capacity buildings to save life and losses in disaster preparedness phase disaster prone areas are identified and risk are estimated from the past experiences of disasters broadly we are aware that orissa and west bengal states experience cyclones tamil nadu state is vulnerable to tsunami 
West Bengal, Assam and Bihar states are susceptible to flood while Himalayan region is earthquake prone area. The disaster preparedness includes preparation of national emergency preparedness plan which ensures coordination and response mechanism among different bodies handling disasters. Standard operating procedures are developed for early warning systems and disaster management training. In disaster preparedness phase, emphasis is on preparedness that is ensuring stock of food, food, potable water, medicine, other essential things, etc. It also includes preparation of trained manpower to handle disasters, training of use of warning systems, timely updating the public, development of public education programs and practicing programs and practicing mock drills. For disaster preparedness, trained manpower and competent government staff plays a very important role. Disaster management cell of municipality, civil defense academy and number of NGOs impart trade houses, educational institutions and public. It includes training regarding managing different types of fire accidents, earthquake safety, knowledge of first aid, flood safety, carrying casualties to the safer places, identifying warnings of disasters, preparing disasters, preparing disaster ready kit, keeping ready list of helplines, ensuring blood supply during casualties and so on. In rural areas, cattle are moved to the cattle camps to save them against starvation during drought. So students, we have learned that broadly there are four phases of dealing with disasters that is response, recovery, mitigation and preparedness. Response and recovery takes place during or after disasters, preparedness phases takes place before disasters. All these phases are interrelated with each other and should be well planned in advance to reduce the casualties and losses. Dear students, in this session, we will learn four important phases in dealing with disasters. You may post your queries and views in the